Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's great to see you, Secretary Becerra. Um, as you and I have discussed before, uh, community hospitals uh, around the country are facing significant financial challenges in my home state of Massachusetts. Those challenges are being made worse by a private equity corporation that has prioritized profits over patients and jeopardized the future of the nine hospitals it owns in the process. Mr. Secretary, as we speak, Steward Healthcare, the largest for-profit, private equity-backed health network in the country, is creating a healthcare crisis in working-class communities across Massachusetts, just as it did when it drove Texas Vista Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas, into uh, closure last year when it was forced to sell off uh, its hospitals in Utah just months earlier. Stewart is facing a significant cash crunch uh, because of blatant mismanagement by company executives who have rewarded themselves with multi-million dollar salaries while accruing massive debts. Unsurprisingly, Stewart has failed rep repeatedly, including in response to requests from myself and my colleagues in the Massachusetts de delegation to provide transparency regarding its intentions to maintain the operation of their nine hospitals in our home state. So instead, it announced the sale of its physician group to Optum, a, a subsidiary of United Health Group, while providing no insight into the future of the hospitals their physicians practice in or, or what the proposed sale will mean for vulnerable patients. So Mr. Secretary, many of the hardworking families I represent just want to know what their that their government is paying attention to this issue and taking action to keep their hospitals open. Uh, I'm hoping I can count on you to maintain a line of communication with Massachusetts leaders to ensure that every possible action is taken and resources available to keep community hospitals like Holy Family Hospital open and serving patients. Congresswoman, we will do everything we can. Uh, this is actually a question more appropriate for me when I was Attorney General because we try to take on some of these I mean, there are vicious uh, investors that essentially try to gut the, the assets out of, a, uh, of an institution, and they just sort of run out of dodge. And uh, I can't tell you that we have authority because we don't govern uh, the licensing of uh, hospitals and so forth at the federal level. That's all state. But we are ready to work with Massachusetts to make sure health care is available to communities. I appreciate that. And I, I am encouraged by the recent work your department has done in collaboration with the Department of Justice and the FTC regarding the effects of corporate ownership trends in healthcare. And my colleagues and I plan to submit comments uh, as part of that process. Um, how uh, This year, I'm, I'm spearheading efforts to commission a GAO study on hospital closures in the last decade to identify the ownership models that have closed and assess the impact of those closures on their communities. This type of study has been conducted for rural hospitals, but not on a broader scale. Uh, if you could just speak a little bit to how improved transparency regarding hospital closures will help the agency to effectively address, respond to, and mitigate future community hospital, hospital closures, that would be great. Yeah, we're actually doing something very similar to that with nursing homes. We are tired of seeing nursing homes that get bought up they're usually they're owned by, you know, mom and pops, people who start them up for, you know, wanting to help the community. Then they get bought up. And before you know it, you can't trace back who the actual owner is. So now we are requiring nursing homes to provide information on who the actual owners are because they set up so many LCCs, LLCs, excuse me, and so many different sham corporations, it's tough to get to the bottom of it. And then when they run out of town after they gut the assets, People are left wondering what, what happened. So we would love to work with you on, on being able to have more transparency in the healthcare sector. Thank you. Um, I do believe that, you know, we can agree that as we address closures and acquisitions that don't benefit patients, that it's crucial to distinguish corporate for profit hospitals from their nonprofit peers. Uh, I introduced bipartisan legislation with Congressman David Valdeo um, to establish a federal designation for essential hospitals. Uh, and I hope my colleagues on the committee will support this legislation. I hope to work with you, Mr. Secretary, to better support the essential health systems that all of our communities depend on for life-saving care. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. 